Hallelujah, glory to God. You are welcome to Prophetic Intercession with Amel. If this is the first time you have seen me, a special welcome to you and thank you so much for stopping by. I pray that God will use this channel to minister to you prophetically, to tell you the mind of God per time and help you know him better in the mighty name of Jesus. So if this is the first time you've seen me, a special welcome to you and thank you so much for joining. Please kindly subscribe if you're yet to do that already and do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that whenever there is a release of a prophetic word, you're going to be the first to know. You never know when God has a direct message for you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This is a strong warning to someone and you shouldn't take it as a joke. It is a strong warning and you shouldn't take it as a joke. There are certain things you don't have to joke about because it might cost you. It might cost you so dearly, more than you ever imagined. Do not joke about the things of the spirit. Do not joke about the things you do not understand. I know that there are so many, um, so many falsehood out there. There is a lot of falsehood out there, but one of the sins that can't even be forgiven is the sin of black is the sin of blasphemy, where you ascribe what the Holy Spirit did to the devil. So when it has to do with things like that, do not joke about it. It's better you stay clear of it rather than you implicating yourself by joking about it. You might do something sometimes and out of anger, somebody curses you or releases a word and it works. And maybe after God might judge them for it, but it has already affected you. When the Lord gave me this prophetic word, what came to my mind is the story of those children, you know, after Elisha had received the mantle of Elijah, he was coming back and the Bible says some little children were running after him and calling him a bad headed man, you know, trying to mock him. Maybe they were just joking, but he prayed and they had, you know, they had divided and swallowed them up. They were joking, but it cost their life. I don't know how this word applies to you. I don't know who I'm ministering to, but I really do believe I am speaking to someone that needs to hear this right now. Don't joke about it. It's better you were silent about it altogether. It's better you do not even talk about it than to draw calamity upon yourself. Hallelujah. Leave God's servants to them. Let him deal with them. Let him handle them. He, they work for him. And even those who are operating under falsehood, they are answerable to God. When it's time for him to pass his judgment, he certainly will. Because sometimes it is difficult to decipher the real from the fake. Even though the Bible says by their fruit we shall know them. But do not joke about spiritual things. Hallelujah. God bless you and keep you. Cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen.